after after seeing the Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special, I am saddened that uh, we're not going to get any more James Gunn Marvel stuff beyond One more. Guardians of the Galaxy Part 3, which Correct. is the final Marvel movie I'm looking forward to. Not because I have any faith in the Marvel brand anymore, but because I have faith in James Gunn. And yeah. I can't wait to see what he's going to do with it. Just because That was a James very Gunn. nice moment in the Christmas story where uh, Mantis revealed that she's his sister. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Yeah, no, that was amazing. I really, really enjoyed that Christmas special. I'm not one for Christmas specials, but this was a tremendously good one. It only goes to show what a creative powerhouse uh, James Gunn is and how basically it sunk Marvel to lose him to DC. And that's totally DC's gain right now because I've never been more excited for DC than to see all of his upcoming projects the next decade. Well, frankly, I think amazing. Marvel deserved to lose him. If I can phrase it that way, yeah, go for it. No, I agree um, with you. Yeah, feel free to elaborate on that. No, I, he, uh, they didn't deserve the way Marvel has been doing everything else. Uh, it was suitable and and important for him to leave. I, I'm not even certain that he would have stayed because the pressure would have been on him to uh, marvelize, his, stunning and brave his work. Uh, uh, or, or they, they would have, they would have tossed him anyway. I, I, I don't think he would have stayed. He's right now. He's managed to keep the Guardians of the Galaxy as kind of an, an, an oasis, an, an island, in, in amongst the idiocy that has become Marvel. How long would that have lasted? Seriously. Yeah, that is, a, that is a good question. And I would just like to point out that I do think that the first Guardians of the Galaxy today remains the single best MCU project. That's just my personal opinion, but it is my opinion nonetheless. So well, we've already seen how the Guardians estimate. work with somebody else because Taika Waititi clearly did not understand their humor and camaraderie. Yep. No, he did awful with uh, with like their tiny... Um, Shade, I don't know, have you seen Thor Love and Thunder? Did you yep. see it? Yeah. Terrible. Because yeah, especially the Guardians of the Galaxy in it, who are suddenly so freaking mean to each other. It's you know what? That's an interesting discussion to compare uh, Gunn's approach to Taika Waititi because up up to that point, I had a lot of confidence in uh, Taika's work. Now, one movie doesn't necessarily kill a career, or or I mean, everyone has failures. But let's 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 be serious about it but it was clear that love and thunder the uh the the network or the studio notes wire uh do you see all that comedy stuff that you had in ragnarok okay step on the comedy gas pedal and really hard that that's the stuff that seems to have worked and even chris helmsworth now is you know crying not having here's the difference before. taika is funny james gunn knows how to be funny but endearing yeah, I, th I think he can do it. Ragnarok, he can make you laugh, Ragnarok but he'll twist a, it. You don't think that Ragnarok had a, a a James Gunn kind of feel to it? A little bit, but a perfect example is the, at the end when you know the whole thing blows up, and the, and it's built on a joke. That's the one time James Gunn would have known. That's not the time for a joke. Uh, and. So Ragnarok was a pretty funny movie, and uh, the, his uh, Taika's Nazi movie I, made me cry. I mean, I, that, that, I thought that was a phenomenally good, good movie. So I, I, that, I, I, I'm, I'd like to see what his next movie is. I cannot believe that he's going to not learn some lessons. From My point is, is you could have had if James Gunn would have directed Thor: Love and Thunder. Not only would it have been hilarious. You would have been crying at the end when Jane died. Well, yeah, 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 quite possibly. And and he he would know uh, that you've got to treat the superhero with the right amount of superhero ness. Uh, he his balance of what Peacemaker was as he's not a superhero, but he's heroic. Let's say. They nailed his, he nailed his tone absolutely correctly. And I, I don't think James Gunn would have screwed around with uh, Thor as much as Taika did. That's what I'm saying. No. He would have understood the character. He would have had fun with it, 
by by the end of that movie, we would be right there with Hemsworth, you know, going, no, don't take Jane away from him. Yep, yep, yep. You know, like, he would have built it up and just kind of like the perfect way he does the twist at the end of uh, the, the, the Christmas special is a perfect example of how James Gunn can take something that was wacky and crazy for 40 minutes. Yep. And in the last couple minutes, just on a twist of a dime, go, ha ha, I got you. You're going to cry. Yeah, he does. He's pretty <laughs> good with that melodrama button. You know, that was a uh, Peacemaker, the TV series, too. That that was there, too, at the very end. So, uh, was, yeah. yeah. It's it's uh, yeah. Hey, listen, I I give him credit. I I wish there were more people like James Gunn out there, but I am not discounting Taika. I'm 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 saying that right now. I'm I'm. Uh, You're right. One movie really, project where where his kind of humor can excel, and Thor evidently wasn't that project. Not well, anymore. Not the second one. And don't let him anywhere near the Guardians. Oh no, no, he oh. I don't think he could do the Guardians. The vampire movie he did was just absolutely that was brilliant. Great. That was amazing. I, I haven't seen the series, but that movie I thought was fantastic. Very funny. Yeah. It was filled with so many Kiwiisms. That was partly what made it what made it work. I mean let me put it to you like this. Love and Thunder did not need him in the movie as that rock guy. Like really, that was terrible. It was, yeah. That was overdone narcissism. You we'll know how the Beatles, to him. you know how they always said Paul was just as good or better drummer than Ringo was, for instance? That's not true. I know, but you know how they used to say that the Beatles, you know, they could all pick up different instruments and play, and Paul played guitar and bass, you know, for instance. And, John and could drums. play, and, and piano, and all that kind of yeah. stuff. Paul was, you know, one of those kind of guys. So that's what I was going to get to, is like, basically, Taika Waititi is like John and John to, 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 um, you know james gunn's paul right <laughs> basically really gonna go there <laughs> i'm gonna go there because john was not the musician right he was the writer he was the guy he could pick up a guitar he could play a little piano but outside of that he couldn't do shit and paul on the other hand was this musical aficionado no matter what you put in front of him he could figure out a way to play it you know and and, and in a sense like that's kind of how these guys are on taika waititi you give him the right thing he's gonna give you imagine He's going to give you instant karma. He's going to give you one of these songs that is amazing. But you give him a xylophone and he's not going to be able to produce shit for you as opposed to, to, to Paul McCartney who turn around and make the best of that xylophone and he'll give you the best goddamn xylophone song you ever fucking heard. Because, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> This is the xylophone segment of Midnight but That's what these guys are like. I, I, I get what you're saying, Paul, and I will give Tycho that much is that Thor Love and Thunder is the first thing he, he I've seen of his that he's disappointed me with, but it was such a disappointment. Yeah. And in it, I saw his weakness. And, and Gunn, I have yet to see his weaknesses. It, what weaknesses he has, he's really good at hiding them. 